Hey Capricorns, this is Diane with Real 3 High Priestess. Thank you very much for coming back to watch your reading. I'm going to jump around here, guys. Okay, Caps. Spirit and Angel, guys, are the most high priest of cards for Capricorns. This is Capricorn and themselves for May. Ooh, get over here. May 2019. Two more times, Capricorns. One. Two. Okay, Capricorns. There we go. You have the Will of Fortune here in reverse, the Hermit card. Ooh. What's going on here? Okay. Something keeps happening, okay? You have the Page of Wands here in reverse. Someone keeps telling you something. You're going to find yourself wanting to be in a single status. You guys are looking within, trying to find answers, okay? And meaning and why you're dealing with something, okay? Clarify the Will of Fortune in reverse. Okay. change okay yeah you guys did a lot of thinking you're doing a lot of thinking and gaining oh yes okay i feel like when one door closes another one opens okay because someone didn't make you very happy and i feel like they did not Treat you the way you thought you should have been treated here, okay? I'm go ahead and pull these, yeah. I'm gonna keep rolling with this energy here. Yep. Mm. There's some nervousness when it comes to this knight of cups that i just pulled out because you don't trust that person either i feel like people are, are coming towards you let's start here you have the will of fortune here in reverse and the judgment card here here in reverse as well okay um i feel like you're ready for some change here you're ready for something to end and something new to come in you're not only feeling this, I feel like this is a change that's going to happen regardless if you want it to happen or not, okay? Because some love is lost, the cup is, the cup is empty, okay? And I feel like there is some depression or feeling of being in balance by this, okay? And it's causing you to feel some instability, okay? when you really want growth. This is somewhat something that you have to turn inward on, all right? With the Hermit card here and the Hangman, okay? You're like, I have to look at this differently. How can I grow from this? How can I change uh, myself? And I feel like this is what you're going to be looking at, okay? Some situation is not making you happy. It's not feeling like... It's stressing you, okay? It's something that you guys are finding yourself upset about. And I feel like it's a stressed relationship that you're trying to gain some clarity on here. Jesus Christ, people need to fix their cards. I'm so sorry. So sorry, y'all, about that, okay? I have the Three of Wands here and the Strength card. When I say you're trying to be strong, yeah. You're also trying to tame your own beast here, okay, with inside of yourself and not pop off on people. You're looking towards the future here, okay? Um, and I, I, when I say pop off, I mean fight, get ready to fight, okay? I feel like you're being strong in another area. Um, 
in another way. That's what I mean, okay? In a more mature, more calculated way, okay? That's why you have the three of wands here as well, okay? You're looking towards the, the future and leaving the nonsense behind, okay? That's what you're doing here. The four of wands is saying that you want something more stable. That's that energy because you're lacking pleasure here, okay? Lacking pleasure in a relationship in in a family situation okay this could be extended family as well but i feel like it's some relationships that you're dealing with okay when one door closes another one opens that's what i feel here okay i feel like some bad news came in or somebody said something okay that you were like uh mm, yeah there's some rumors flying around okay or some gossip, but I feel like you're going to overcome this cloud, overcome this negativity. And it's going to be forced by a major arcana card, the sun here, okay? G gaining clarity and winning over um, the adversity, okay? Elevating yourself. Let's elevate it, okay? When I pulled this card, you guys, I felt nervousness because I feel like you don't quite trust this person due to past situations okay past relationships that may have felt stressed okay you have the nine of pentacles here which is letting me know that you guys are going to be okay okay even if you have to be in a single type of status you're going to have stability at least in your finances here i feel like you've got you feel like you've got cheated or in some way okay in a relationship this is the detachment from from some friend family member something some relationship that was too stressed out okay you're finally becoming individual or becoming this individual person that is glowing here i feel okay but they still lurking. There's people out there still watching you. <laughs> I don't even want to say that. Plotting for your demise. I'm not saying that they're plotting, but I feel like if you give them the opportunity, they will show you how cruel they could be. That's what I'm feeling with the five of swords here, okay? Someone that is unfair and selfish. And that's why you have your guard up um, a little bit, okay? Um, but there may be... Someone that's coming in trying to offer their love. And it's not quite what it is, okay? Or you don't see it that way. I feel like it's due to a relationship that you're in, okay? That may have been a third party relationship. All right, let's go ahead and get some messages for this here Capricorn. Spirit and angel guys on the most high. Please give me any message you have for Capricorn May 2019. Let's see. Uh, no here okay you have compromise and be assertive or more get more information and unlikely okay i feel like it's due to some relationship you are in or trying to get out of or some stressed out relationship you're trying to get out of they may be trying to this may be someone new or currently you're with constantly trying to they just, uh, this five of swords here is really yucky sitting next to this knight of cups here okay because i feel like this love may be really deceit mm. or someone ego gets in the way okay or this person is showing 
I have selfish love. Okay, the message you ha you have here is unlikely. Okay, give more information about this situation. I feel like alone, even alone, you are still looking good with the nine of pentacles here and the sun card. I want to point that out. That's why you're being told if you believe. Okay, feel this no. It's with that relationship compromise. Okay, this is what you guys are thinking about. That's what's on your mind. Bringing in balance, okay? You may be dealing with a Libra here, okay? And you're t <laughs> you're being told, be assertive. Okay, normally I would notice that it is like this time and you guys would not hear that buzzer behind me, but oh, I'm not starting this video over. So guess what? You're about to hear this crazy siren in my town, if you guys can hear that in the background. Okay, let's take a look at your love here. It's gonna go crazy, dude. It's, it's absolutely nuts. Okay. Please give me a card for Capricorn. What is going on? And love, what other messages do you have for, let me try to center myself. Okay. What other messages and love do you have for Capricorn? May 2019. forgiving and learning <laughs> new love and a lot of people are starting something new here okay giving a relationship a chance and then paying attention um to the red flags you have deception here trust you deserve love love yourself first okay so yeah someone is trying to start something new but there is something lurking in the background you have forgiving and learning I'm not going to show you all those. I'm actually going to pull a card on top of those, okay? With the Witch's Tarot. Spirit of Angel are the most likely to give me a card for each one of these. Forgiving, learning first. That's forgiving. Thank you. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups here in reverse. Two of Pentacles here. It's a lot to juggle. You have the King of Cups here, okay, in reverse. Deception, you have the Moon card, <clears throat> the moon card here in reverse, okay. Shit. Hermit card in reverse here, okay, over trust. The page of swords here over you deserve love. Yeah, you're gonna be standing up for yourself. Okay, in the shadow side, you're gonna be addressing what's inside of you, darling. So the six of pentacles here, reverse and forgiven and learning. You guys are gonna be releasing and healing from the past, releasing yourself from some situation that is not balanced, not equal, not fair. Okay, the ten of cups here. I felt like for some of my Capricorns here. This, I feel like with the King of, the Knight of uh, Cups that was coming in previously explains this Ten of Cups and this new love that's trying to be given. Okay, when we were speaking about the Five of Swords, okay, someone coming in and not being so uh, truthful about the love that they're trying to give, okay, and how long they want, if they want a long-term relationship, that's what I'm feeling here, okay? You have the two of pinnacles here and give this relation, <clears throat> relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. It's going, to be, it's going to take a lot of work, okay? That's what that is saying. A lot of juggling. A lot of trying to balance yourself and balance your mind. And I feel like it's just going to be too many, 
too much. King of Cups here in reverse and pay attention to the red flags. Pay attention to the love that they're trying to give because that Knight of Cups that they were trying to give may actually turn into the King of Cups here in reverse. Someone that is really withdrawn and cold hearted. Okay. That's why you have the Hermit card here. This guy withdrawn. Okay. But I feel like it's not oh, it's a nasty type of withdrawn type of person. Okay, not to go search inward, but someone that may be false and not truthful. Okay, this the situation is calling for you to have faith, but the hermit card is in reverse. Okay, clarifying that. All right, you're being told that you deserve love. Before I go into that, let's look at this. Okay, this deception card and the moon card over it, which basically mean the same damn thing. At the same damn time, someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship, okay? And the truth is not in you. There's some deception, not you, Capricorn, okay? Whoever you're dealing with here, all right? But I feel like, Caps, you're going to be um, standing up for yourself, all right? You have the Page of Swords here, all right? You deserve, deserve love. You are lovable and you guys know it. And you're like, uh-uh, don't even come over here with that. And I feel like... You guys are going to be addressing that, addressing why you are attracting these type of people in your life with the shadow side here. Um, I know it's in reverse, but I feel like you guys are still going to try to accomplish this, okay? Um, find some relief. Find some relief, okay? Your love, uh, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive, all right? Let's look at the possible possible outcome for you, Caps. Spirit and Age, guys, I'm always happy to give me cards for Capricorn May. 2019. What is the possible outcome of this situation for my Capricorn? Okay. King of Cups. Okay. Ooh, Temperance card. The Four of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the High Priestess card, the Eight of Pentacles here, the Eight of Cups, the Devil card here, and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so yeah, that's good. I'm gonna show you what you have here. The King of Cups here. Okay, the High Priestess and the Seven of Swords here. Whatever you're dealing with, whatever betrayal um, or obstacles that you're dealing with, I feel like you're going to um, deal with this situation with I'm feeling deep emotions, okay? I don't feel like you're going to be very forceful in trying to find your freedom. I feel like that you're gonna find it regardless, okay? And you're very committed to doing that. And I feel like you know you have the power to accomplish this, but the high priestess here and that you have the wisdom to overcome any of these obstacles or any people that may try to betray you in some way okay that's what i'm feeling here you have the temperance card here the eight of pentacles and the page of pentacles okay bringing in good luck towards you because you're putting the work in that's what i'm feeling here okay and i feel like not only are you dedicated to working on yourself in a financial way in educating yourself okay spiritually um but i feel like you're educating yourself 
um, I was gonna say scholastic, oh my goodness. You're getting ed educated, okay? Um, in regards to perfecting your skills, whatever motivates you, whatever your hobby is, whatever you're working on, okay? Um, you're doing that inward and outward. That's what you're working on here. And the King of Cups is just gonna make you look even more good, even more gooder, <laughs> even better, okay? That's what I'm feeling here. Bringing in the balance with the temperance card here. Four of, four of wands is just letting me know you're going to have a stable foundation, okay? Walking away from things with the eight of cups, departure, okay? Leaving things behind um, that don't make you happy, that don't make you feel like there's an opportunity to grow from it, okay? You're focusing inward, um, changing your heart in your focus okay which is going to bring you abundance okay it's going to bring in change for you and it's going to look better it's going to make you feel a little bit more secure than you did already okay because i feel like for some of my caps out there with this five of cups um this is the energy that you're trying to find freedom from with this devil card is taking the chains off okay and finding freedom from sadness, from being drowned in emotion, um, from people that may not be truthful, okay, in relationships with you, okay? I feel like you will feel the loss of releasing this relationships, but you will be on a totally new journey in your life, okay, with the eight of wands here, okay? You're going to be, uh, you're going to be experiencing new things, okay? Reaching new goals and goals, okay? And it's going to be, it's going to feel more exciting. Man, I'll be talking fast. It's going to feel more exciting to you. That's what I feel, okay? It's going to be good. All right. Let's get some messages here for you, Caps. Screen Major, I'm the most high. Please give me any messages you have for Capricorn. May. Woo! 2019. Messages do you want Caps to leave off on? I just wrote this on Instagram today. Period. I'm not even sure I'm saying that right. <laughs> it says life lessons you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons and blessings they contain. Hallelujah. Yes. Period. For real. Okay. You can. You have soda light here. Socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people. Okay. And Ruby, Ruby be tripping me out. Look at her. She's so bright. Bless your heart here, Caps. Okay. Reach out for emotional and spiritual support to heal and mend your heart. I feel like that's also connected to the high priestess as well, okay? Reaching out for spiritual support, okay? That's why I say you're going to be growing in that area. Oh, my God. As I say this, you have angelites. Spiritual and religious community join with like-minded people for friendship and increased spiritual growth. You know, that is your reading, Capricorn. Thank you very much for coming back to watch your reading. I do appreciate it. Make sure you guys give me a thumbs up for this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share the video. Share, 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 share the video. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you guys want to do, okay? I love you. Hit the notification bell. I'll be back with some more videos for May. Bye.